Hi. We're excited to have you guys here. Like, this is such a fun day of just getting and engaging with the game. It's it's everything. Speaking of that, I want to start out by asking you guys if you guys played Street Fighter as kids and um, how it kind of add to the richness of working on this project. Yeah, well, you know, personally, I've been playing Street Fighter since I was very little, mm -hmm. so since I was six. So this has been my big dream project, but I, grew, I also grew up with it. So yeah. I know a lot of characters and it's so special and, you know, I'm just kind of, everything is part of me. Mm -hmm. Love that. Love that. Um, if you can kind of talk to us a little bit, we can kind of start off by talking a little bit about what it was like kind of collaborating from two different sides, because I know you kind of come from the corporate side with um, Capcom and then you kind of you're an artist, you know, so you guys are bringing two completely different perspectives to the project. Um, but talk a little bit about how it came together. Yeah, um, this project, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I, um, First time uh, I heard this project from Koyo, I was very excited because it's honor to work with the uh, name with Big as Big Street Fighter Six, uh, and and then uh, the began <laughs> the demo uh, demo mm -hmm. Terayama san uh, yeah. had created for us, and then the they give us the direction to start to building the music elements. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and after this, I could make a original sound from that beat. And then, yeah, I, I knew, I knew right away that Rocco, uh, he's a great artist. And then yeah. also he, yeah, uh, that we wanted to work together because he knows, uh, he speaks both uh, English and Japanese. Mm -hmm. And he knows and he understood uh, the both characters, and then he introduced us to the Randy, mm -hmm. and the three yeah. of us, and work together, and uh, making relic and music for the team of song. Love that. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, so um, I am. Um, I'm, I'm actually not a part of Capcom, but I'm an mm -hmm. outside and music executive producer, executive music producer. So my role is to you know actualize um, the visions that team has, the Stream Fighter Six team has, and um, my one of my job is to find the perfect collaborators like JRP. Mm -hmm. So when we look for the right producer for theme song, and JRP was so perfect. So um, that's how we contacted you know GRP and we decided to work together yeah yeah I know um, for this particular project you guys really focused on hip-hop and bringing that alive and kind of bringing that like street flavor and theme alive mm -hmm. um, can you kind of add on that sure absolutely so um, so hip-hop and street culture is a big part of the music for Street Fighter 6 mm -hmm. um, more so that the spirit of hip hop in some way, because you know, hip hop since it was born in New York, um, it always has integrated many genres of music, mm -hmm. very aggressively and very respectfully. So we mm -hmm. absolutely love the spirit of hip hop in that way. And Street Fighter has many characters with diversity, and the inspiration that we had from hip hop, what we have imagined was um, when the music, you know, when the characters come to the real life. What kind of music that's going to sound like? Mm -hmm. You know, that's the spirit that um, you know the composer Terayama-san, um, Kameda-san, and Kitagawa-san. Those composers have really come up with really cool concept and just reimagine what the music is going to be. So it was the combination of spirit of hip hop, um, as well as, of course, the modern styles that uh, they were able to incorporate extremely well. Yeah, I love that you mentioned the modern um, side of it. I also imagine there were elements where you kind of had to tap into that nostalgia, too, because this game is 35 years old. It's such a part of so many people's like childhoods and upbringing. Um, can you kind of talk about making that happen seamlessly, like being able to tap into the nostalgia, but also still putting that modern, fresh feel and twist to it? Absolutely. So the team is absolutely aware of the recognitions and they so appreciate um, everybody's love for Street Fighter, right? So, but they of course wanted to bring something special and new for Street Fighter Six. So they have explored different ideas and again, then they go back to hip hop yeah. because of the spirit and the stylistic choices. And also it's so much fun. It's mm -hmm. an incredible genre. And they really respect hip hop, and you know that's how they kind of went back to hip hop as kind of key concept. 
at yeah, all. Yeah. So GRP, can you kind of break down for us um, some of the music elements and like the beats behind mm -hmm. um, Not on the Sidelines? Yeah. Um, I think the most important uh, uh, the, the elements for mm -hmm. the great Tima song, in my opinion, is good intro. So intro has to be good hook, you know, mm -hmm. and then so they can listen the song. They can the, there is a guitar sound in the intro, but actually not guitar sound that, that I created the different sound uh, using the synthesizer because why an intro is important is you know if intro is um, not good mm -hmm. people get tired and boring and, yeah. and people will not listen after the intro so that's why so the first i when i'm making song i really i focus on making the intro action and the intro yeah i you and then there needs a unique sound mm -hmm. but too unique but it's not too unique <laughs> Unique and plus catchy, and then something special. Si similar guitar sound, but not guitar sound. <laughs> the synthesizer. Yeah. And then one more thing in the chorus, so I using the very very bright synthesizer. Mm -hmm. The this is a, I'm very particular about the choosing the you know the sound on the chorus because s the chorus has to be more catchy because um, the song for Street Fighter Six. A lot of people listen to the song, mm -hmm. so that's why. So I need to make more catchy. So, but I need to make the hip hop vibe. Yeah. So, I made hip hop as foundation and I put some, you know, poppy vibe and you know, the scene side. I use it. The, gotcha. the song, not, not side lines. Yes. Such an interesting <laughs> process. I'm kind of curious about like the in-game sounds. Like, mm -hmm. is it a process where you're working around um, those in-game sounds, or does it happen the other way around, where you make the music and then like the in-game sounds are inserted afterwards, or yes. like, how does that work? Sure, that's a really interesting question <laughs> because um, one of the things that uh, Terayama san has said in the interview too mm -hmm. is that um, we don't necessarily chase the most modern sound because, you know, video game takes time to make music, right? Mm -hmm. And make games, right? right? So by the time the game is out, the music sound is not necessarily that you know, relevant sound by the time, you know, mm. around the time of the release of the game. So they really focus on what's going to sound right for each character while incorporating the modern element. So for them, it's just all about finding the right tone for the, each character. And later this later today, we'll release, you know, we'll share some new tracks too. But yeah. each character has a very unique musical element and motifs that you can find. So I think that's a fun part of playing Street Fighter yeah. in general. I think you bring up such a great point, like just bringing the whole story together and also like giving us some access into each character's personal story as well. Um, I, I don't know how much you can share before we do the big reveal, but can you uh -huh. kind of talk to us a little bit about the music process behind the new character? themes for um, absolutely yeah absolutely that's actually i'm so excited to share about that so kimberly who happened to be producer matsumoto san's favorite character for, for street fighter 6 mm -hmm. so she trained under guy from final fight Final Fight is a Capcom's classic game, you know, released in 1989. It's one of my favorite games still. Mm -hmm. So because um, Kimberly trained under Guy, so she, of course, respects Guy, right? So composer Terayama-san has focused on that relationship. So um, as a way to, you know, pay respect, um, he started out kind of incorporating uh, trap music as a foundation of the music, but then he incorporated sort of like the music from 1989, mm. the original Final Fight. So there's a guy's theme, you know, sort of like the stylistic um, character that's part of the music. So, you know, it's just, you know, it's a great example to me that how they reflect the character, you know, using the trap music as foundation, but still kind of right. reference the classic and history and legacy of Street Fighter and, you know, Capcom's fighting games. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, kind of use that to, um, as, the, as a concept for the music for Kimberly. Yeah. And Jury is another character that we'll, you know, we're excited about to share with the world. Mm -hmm. um, that's another wonderful composer, um, uh, Kameda-san. Um, he has taken the modern elements, but because Jury is like a Chun-Li, it's very speedy, you know, yeah. but also mm -hmm. very tricky with her uh, Funsui engine, you know, special move. Mm -hmm. So he has 
taken the very unique synthesizers and reflected the trickiness of the character into the music too. So that's the way how these guys do it. Like I really love the way how Capcom's you know composers kind of come up with cool things, but not just too much the music, but you know reflect the characters and legacy. Yeah, yeah. I know that you've worked on a lot of different projects. Um, how is this one different from like some of the other things you've worked on when it comes to like film and and other mediums in general? Well, this one is absolutely exciting to me and to the team. Yeah. And as a fan, I can say that my, I, I can say that too. Um, you know, the fighting game, you know, has a long, long history, Street Fighter mm -hmm. 2. And when you play the game, you know, you can actually feel that, you know, the music was really well crafted to enjoy the game experience. Um, the focus is absolutely fantastic, but also there's um, very close fusion that they were able to um, incorporate some of the sort of the record sounds more than just the film and television and video game sounds. So the, the tone of the music and sound of the music for Street Fighter VI is, I would say, closer to more of the record sound. And part of the reason is we worked with a really incredible mixing engineer named Iriko, mm -hmm. who just won Grammy for mixing uh, Kanye West's album, Donda. Yeah. So he was a big part of our team as well, you know, was able to incorporate sort of the modern hip hop sound. You know, mm -hmm. he's got lots of records and, you know, many hours you know, under the belt, but he really was able to you know, combine many elements and, mm -hmm. you know, bring us together um, by mixing really yeah. well. How do you know, how do you guys know when it's right and it's like ready and it's telling the story that you want it to tell um, sonically for the game? Well, um, that's a very, very interesting <laughs> question. <laughs> and as a fan, I would say that um, that's when you almost like, you know, when, when the when the game is so much fun. Mm -hmm. you know, that's something that they work very, very hard to make sure that, you know, uh, people would enjoy fighting games. In yeah. fact, the one of the big parts of fighting games is to make sure that sound effects and voice are well heard mm -hmm. because it's competition game too, right? Yeah. Yep. So we have to make sure that, you know, uh, music and voice and sound effects are well balanced. And in fact, that's one of the major contributions that uh, Iriko was able to do because his uh, mixing sound actually defines each instrument. Mm -hmm. So when you play Street Fighter VI, you can actually hear all the instruments really well and you can start vibing to the music of the, the game uh, as you play. So you can kind of groove and play the game. And I think once they were able to create the great mixture, I would say that's, you know, as a fan, I can say that's a, one of the kind of good you know, moments that you can Definitely. say, this sounds really good. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I think that's such a uh, great point And a big part of what I enjoy about gaming too is the music. Like it kind of brings you into that world um, for sure. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the message that you guys kind of um, put out there in regards to this song and also the video that came out um, with it. It's very inclusive. Lots of themes around just um, ensuring that people know that they like are strong, you know, like everybody is fighting their own battle and are, can overcome that. Um, what message, in addition to that, are you guys hoping that fans of the game, of the music, um, get out of it? Well, I'm so delighted that, um, you know, you, you have taken the message that way. You know, we all have a fight, mm -hmm. right? And we, we have all our own battles and everybody's the same in a way. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you know, the, the artist Benny, um, as well as the dancer um, Sumi, they found something that they're extremely passionate about in their lives. They can't stop. Mm -hmm. Like that's what they want to do in their lives. And, you know, when we find something that's extremely passionate about, like yourself doing this and GRPs yeah. doing music, and yeah. that's when we feel like we live our lives, right? And I, I don't want to speak for Capcom, but, you know, this is my, you know, personal message right. as well. Like, yeah, this is my personal impression, but, uh, you know, um, just we all have a fight, but uh, it's worth it. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Um, GRP, just yeah. kind of um, final <laughs> words, if you can kind of bring us into the studio with um, Rocco808, Randy Marks. Yeah. What was that like? Any, like, cool moments that you can remember that you can share with us? <laughs> <laughs> they are so talented. <laughs> they are so quick, and they know immediately, you know, what they want, you know, need to make. Yeah. So, absolutely, so we're a good team, but... The big project, there's a lot of notes actually, but they they can do. And mm -hmm. then it was so fun to make it with them. And yeah. then 
I really I wanted to make more with them, that song. Love that. Yeah. Love that. You guys really brought it to life in that performance earlier, so thank you for that. Yeah, thank um, you. We're going to, let's bring this prize pack over to the table. Yeah. <laughs> take a closer look at what's happening in here. Let's see. Uh-huh. Wow. Boxing gloves. I love oh, incredible. Gloves. I'm about ready to take this home personally. Uh, all right, we got some mugs over here. And this is for, essentially, this is for the champ, right? That's right. This yeah. is That's for right. the champ wow. in the final match. Got some cool mugs. We got a hat. Um, lots of wow. really cool swag in here. Hopefully the chat can it's see. Really cool. Yeah, it's all the special cool. moves in Street Fighter. So that's a Tatsumachi Tatsumachi Senpukiak. Senpukiak. Uh -huh, Tornado Kicks. Tornado Kicks. Love that. Oh, we got a couple yeah. of Yeah. Yep. And these t-shirts. So, mm -hmm. let's see. What else do we have in here? Oh, okay. So there's yeah. different things that are related to like specific characters in um, this That's particular right. prize pack. So, yeah. So these are really cool t-shirts and, you know, the goods that Graft, uh, really the company, um, this is an official licensed company by Capcom. And, What's so cool about this is it says somersault kick. This one said Tatsumaki <laughs> Senpu kick. Mm -hmm. But the way how they put the fonts and designs are just the kind of movements of the special moves. So that's one of the cool thing about these. But uh, yeah, so these are going to be the prize. Love that. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Um, well, guys, thank you so much. This has been fantastic. Thank you. Um, I wasn't able to sneak in my words that you guys taught me. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, Sigoy. Um, yeah. Yes, Sigoy. Did, I, did I get it right? Yeah. Did yeah. I get it right? Sigoy. Yeah. Great, great yeah. time just chatting with you guys about, like, just giving us an inside look mm -hmm. at the music um, and just how it all came together. So we appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. Well, appreciate thank, it too. Thank, you. thank you so much. And, you know, we really are so grateful to have the opportunity to uh, present and perform, you know, the music that we've been creating for yeah. Street Fighter VI. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, obviously the game is still in development and we're yeah. still continue uh, built out you know the game and you know music and stuff too but um, hopefully you know we have opportunity to bring in more wonderful artists to collaborate with like GRP, Rocco 808 and mm -hmm. Randy Marks I mean these guys are absolutely fantastic and you know this has been a wonderful collaboration and hopefully uh, we'll have a chance to work with more artists too For so sure. it's been great. For sure. Love Thank that. you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.